Hi everybody, back again with another video. This time I am playing with Diane's new release. She came out with um, three packs of die cuts, two packs of bigger back chats. Now those stickers, they say the same thing, just one pack is black and one pack is white, but the quotes are the same. And she also came out with some new shimmer paint colors. So I will be using three of the four colors that she came out with and using a little bit of the die cuts and the back check stickers and then I'm using some old stamps. And I'll have everything listed down below. Now for the coloring, as I think I was talking about it in my last video, I like coloring with Copics if I have to color. <laughs> so I do show you what colors I'm using. I just hold it up to the camera. So if you want to jot that down, do so then because I will not be listing them down in the description. I'll just be listing um, like the, the die cuts and the stamps and you know, the products you use, not colors. So I didn't do a whole lot of coloring for this one. Um, the die cuts I left as is, and then there was one more piece I stamped that was a body part, like the, um, the torso, and I didn't color that in because the whole body I left black and white except for this eye and you'll see later why I did it. It was kind of <laughs> the main reason why I did it is because I didn't want to color everything because <laughs> you know coloring is not my favorite but it worked out to you'll see just wait. <laughs> So the new release was a nice small one. I think everybody kind of breathes a little sigh of relief when the releases are small. Dina's yesterday, well I guess today as I'm doing this voiceover, it'll be yesterday when you're watching it. Her release was small as well, which is always nice because it's less money. Everybody has to spend. I like it when they have small releases, even if they come more often, it's just, I don't know, I like it better in small doses. I find it overwhelming when everything comes out. And it's expensive, like the stamp sets, it's not so bad when they come out with um, the little things like the die cuts and the back chat stickers and even the paints now like I mean none of that is really expensive but the stamps those are a bit pricey no matter what brand you're looking at now like stamps are expensive stencils seem to be a bit more reasonable but yeah stamps are a little much but we do love them don't we <laughs> even like when I scrapbook I think I actually bought more stamps when I scrapbook than I do now working in mixed media probably because I like to draw and stuff as well but um yeah when I scrapbooked I bought a lot of stamps like a lot of oh, there's pictures too I was going to say a lot of word ones but no I had everything I don't mean I had everything, but you know what I mean? Like, I had a mix of everything. So, yeah. Scrapbooking, I found a lot worse for me for buying. Because I wanted it all. and But then, a lot of the papers and stuff, I wouldn't use it because then it would be gone. <laughs> Which I could kick myself in the butt for now. Because... I stopped scrapbooking and some of it just never got used so it was a waste it, it was crazy the 
thought process there was not, it wasn't smart, but oh well. I know I'm not the only one. I know others are guilty of it, but it's not so bad now, like with mixed media and stuff, because it's kind of, for me anyway, the stuff I do is more stuff that you use repeatedly. Like, yeah, you can use it all, but it's like paint, you'll just go buy more. But anyway, <laughs> I don't know why I got on to that, but oh well. So my favorite for dilutions is the black journals. I really like the craft ones too, but the only one that I have the craft in is the classic. So it's like, you know, not all the pages are craft. I'm still waiting and like fingers crossed that she'll come out with a large all craft journal. That would be amazing. I would be so happy. I just love craft with black and white. Oh, love it. And I love black too for um, the shimmer paints. I really like black with that. And collage too, really. I just really like the black paper. <laughs> I have a hard time actually using the regular paper now because I've been using the black in that so much that. I've gotten away from using the regular mixed media paper and it's almost like I don't know how to use it anymore. So I have to kind of challenge myself. Or I'll use it when it's mostly like it's all going to get covered in paint, that kind of thing. So for this journal spread, I'll actually talk about what I'm doing here. <laughs> I am going to do a cutout. I know when I've done flip throughs of my other small black journal that everybody loved the cutouts and stuff. So I wanted to play with the new stuff and have it ready for when she actually did her release. And I like doing cutout pages. I think they just, they add so much interest to the journal, especially when your book is all done and complete and you flip through is so nice and I'm going over it with the bone folder there because when I was cutting it out with the knife it it does something to the edges like it it's not rough but it's like they're slightly bent upwards so I just went over it with a bone folder to flatten it out a bit and here I am getting some of the shimmer paints and we have Pink Flamingo and the Periwinkle Blue and the Lemon Zest are three of the four new colors. I do hope I'm right on that. I'm pretty certain I am. <laughs> and then the Island Parrot is one of our older shimmer colors. And I had that paper underneath first, and then I remembered I wanted the paint colors to go through and show, like, on the page behind it. So that is why I pulled it out. First, I was just thinking of protecting the page underneath, but then I remembered I wanted it to go on there. So I'm doing kind of like, I guess you could say a rainbow, but my intentions were not to do like a rainbow rainbow I just wanted stripes of color so you could do a full rainbow that would look cool as well I noticed today I was playing with my shimmer paints on the the manila or you know the regular mixed media cardstock like in her dilutions journals and when you're playing with the shimmer paints on those pages, you really don't need more than one coat. 
I haven't played with the shimmer paints much at all on her regular colored paper. Like it's usually always on black. And on the black, I find I do two, three coats. It depends. Like if I've squeezed out a bit too much paint, like I'll just keep going with the layers <laughs> of the paints. But no less than two coats of paint. But most time, I think it's probably two and then whatever I have left for like, like a skimmed third coat. So this one I had squeezed out a bit too much paint, even after doing so many layers, it was like I still had more paint left in the thing and I just, I wasn't going to keep going. So I really, I like this and it's not hard, like the cutout pages, like they can tend to look a little bit complicated like if you're flipping through somebody's album but really they're not it's it's not that hard at all it's like little effort for so much impact I love it and that's one of the things that I really love about okay does anybody else do this <laughs> my hands get so cold that I actually warm them up with my heating tool <laughs> I do that quite often. Anyway, um, oh yeah, I find with the black journals and the craft ones, less is more, and which I think is great when you don't have all the time in the world to spend arting or there's more than one thing that you want to do. So I really like it. Like, I'm sure you've seen um, my flip through of my other small black journal. I'll try to remember and put it up in the cards around here. Hopefully I'll remember. <laughs> it may not be in this exact moment that I'm speaking, but hopefully it'll be somewhere in this vicinity if I remember to add the card up in the upper right corner for the small black journal flip through. You'll find it, if I forget to link it, it'll be in like, um, I would say Dilusions playlist here on the YouTube channel. And I think I've even done a flip through on my Instagram maybe. I don't know. I'm pretty darn proud of that other black journal. So I've showed it off a little bit. <laughs> But yeah, it was like, that first one, it just went so quickly, and I think, I don't know if it was first when she came out with collage sheets. I do believe it was first when she came out with shimmer paints, though. I don't know if collage sheets was well before that or not, but it just, like boom 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 the ideas just kept pouring and I did that it was my first ever completed journal and it went so quickly and it was such an amazing feeling like to have all that inspiration and the ideas it was awesome so I don't know if you noticed here when I was doing the stencil it's just a little thing but it makes it so much easier like first I had it flipped the other way so the majority of the stencil was off the book and I know I would have ended up slipping so just simply turning that stencil around so the majority of it is laying on the journal made it so much easier for stenciling and for it to stay in place. Just a little tip. So here I am piecing it together. The skirt as you saw I cut it from one of the die cuts and that would be <laughs> her <laughs> her packages for her die cuts La the names of them make me laugh and it reminds me of my roots like <laughs> I'm from Newfoundland and anyway they're called <laughs> I feel so silly saying that because I haven't lived in Newfoundland for almost 30 years so 
it was like training to not speak like it anymore, but it was me bodies. <laughs> That's the name of the, um, where the skirt came from. And then the head came from another pack called <laughs> me heads. <laughs> See, I can't say it without laughing because to me, I mean, maybe they do it the same in England, but that is such a newfy thing. Oh, it makes me laugh. It cracks me up. And it feels really weird to say it now, like, on purpose. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> that's what th those pieces came from. And then the, the upper part of the body, like the arms, that one is from a stamp set called Paper Dolls. And the eye... Uh, I think that was from Ocean Life. And then the crown is from Starstruck. That's an old stamp set. A good one, but an old one. And then the U from Alpha Block. Before moving on, I also want to point out on those first two pages that we did, did you notice how much everything else just really popped when that white border was put in place? And I was too busy babbling on about something else when I did it, but I really feel like that white border just made it wow. Like, it just made everything else so much more vibrant. So for the heart on that page, I traced it once using the stencil, and then after I just did a, I think one more, I don't know if I went around one more or two more times, just very loosely, just to give it a sketchy look. I like doing that too. If I mess up, <laughs> I'll go over it again, like really, really loose. So it looks like I did it on purpose. So here I am using the stencil giraffe and I'm not going to color in every single one. And I didn't want to have to go changing colors constantly. So I just did some scattered pink ones. And I did, I think I only did two coats. We'll see. Now I'm waiting. Yep, I only did two coats. And then I moved it over and um, just did a scatter one. I didn't do a whole lot way over towards the right. I just like the idea of it coming from the left and like kind of scattering. Or maybe they were coming from the heart and going the other way. I don't know. <laughs> I just like the look of it anyway. I do hope I'm right in what I said was the new release colors. I'm pretty sure all the shimmer paints that I'm using except for the Island Parrot are the new ones. The only one I'm really wondering about is Lemon Zest. Mm. I don't feel bad if I'm wrong. But I really don't remember. Let's see if I can see a past page that I did. Well, I know Island Parrot is an old one. <laughs> Watch that one. Because she has more than one green. I mean, she has cut grass and a shimmer as well. And well, I know it's not Dirty Martini because that one's darker. <laughs> I don't know. I've had these for a little while now. So my memory is not the best. Not the best at all. <laughs> I said to my husband the other day, I'm like, I don't know about you, but I really worry about me sometimes. <laughs> In regards to my memory, it's like, oh my goodness, like, what am I going to be like by the time I get, like, older, older? <sighs> I'm going to be screwed. Unless somehow it just, like, 
just stays this bad and doesn't get worse and I just stay as bad as I am now which is already pretty bad so <laughs> unfortunately I think the only way it gets worse is having something seriously wrong that's not good we won't get talking about that or I'll be depressed here in a minute <laughs> I'd rather just laugh at myself <laughs> which is a good thing I can do that see doesn't that look cool I don't know maybe you guys find it too much I'm not usually one for doing too much and when I do I usually know that I have and it's like oh man I went too far but this one I like how it turned out I love doing pages that are actually kind of like I don't know three or four pages combined sort of thing like interactive so I'm loosely sketching around these as well I didn't even pull out the stencil to do it I just like very loosely like some of it is like completely on the black some of it goes over the painted part and I did not wait for it to dry like but like I said I, it, a lot of it is going over the black part of the page and not the painted part but I do the layers fairly thin and the paints dry so fast like if I was going to do a lot of writing on top of the paint then I don't think I would do it right away, but I don't know. I'm bad and I'm impatient, so maybe I would. <laughs> don't do as I do. Do as I say. Wait for them to dry. <laughs> that way you can't yell at me if you wreck your paint pen. So I'm grabbing a quote, and the way I did this was so you read one part when you're just looking at these first two pages and it's like oh that's so sweet it says you constantly amaze me which that is a very sweet thing but then when you open the pages there's more to the quote So then it says, unfortunately, not in a good way. So I thought that was kind of clever, if I do say so myself, to make it look like, oh, that's so sweet. And then you turn the page and it's like, oh. <laughs> that seems like the kind of card I would give to my husband. <laughs> Who needs all the sweet, mushy stuff? I'd rather make him laugh. <laughs> so I'm doing something I don't think I've done for a while where you loosely do two lines going around the page and then you do like the checkered thing in between them. It's one of my favorite things to do. And I think that is it. And I want to point out too, just in case I don't get enough time to say it when I'm going over the pages, Actually, I should. There, the reason why I only colored with Copics the eye in the person on the first page and then the crown and the U was because when you're looking at the first two pages, like the eye should stand out because it's the only thing colored. And then you have the big stenciled heart and then you have the U. So it's I love you. Isn't that cheesy? <laughs> Come on, it's Valentine's Day so you know that's when you get to be cheesy. I'll point it out in the video anyways because you know I'm weird like that. I think this would make an awesome Valentine's Day card. <laughs> so that is it you guys. I do hope you enjoyed the video. 
and make a version of it yourself. It was fun. I really enjoyed this. I whipped this up yesterday. I don't do things in one day very often, <laughs> so you can do it too. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Thanks so much for stopping by. Let me know if you like my videos by leaving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also head over to my Instagram account and say hi to me over there. If you have any video requests, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. And don't forget to check out my other videos.